We begin, though, with a look back to BYU's trip south and their date with Florida State. True Blue's Brendan Hartigan reports. Saturday, September 18th, the Cougars traveled to Tallahassee to take on the Florida State Seminoles. FSU's offense moved down the field with ease for most of the first quarter, but the Cougars' D made big plays when they needed to. BYU's Andrew Rich forces FSU wide receiver Burt Reed to fumble, and Shane Hunter comes up with the ball at the 12-yard line, giving the Cougars a huge defensive stop. Near the end of the quarter, Florida State is at the 8-yard line and has a chance to put 6 on the board, but QB Christian Ponder can complete a pass on a 3rd and 5, forcing the Seminoles to settle for a field goal. Things didn't go well for the Cougars' offense in the first quarter, and it started out the same way in the second, as Riley Nelson drops back to throw but gets intercepted by Xavier Rhodes. The pass would turn out to be the last throw of the game for Nelson, who completed one of four pass attempts for one yard and an interception. The turnovers didn't end there for the Cougars, as on their very next drive, Jake Heaps gets sacked by Brandon Jenkins and coughs up the football, giving the Seminoles great field position that would lead to another Florida State field goal. On the opening play of their next drive, Florida State running back Chris Thompson runs his way past eight BYU players. Well, that was quite a run by Thompson, but J.J. Luigi says, yeah, well, I can make some pretty good plays, too, as he bolts his way down the field for a 21-yard pickup. The run would help set up a BYU field goal. Next Cougars drive, Luigi makes another huge run, this time picking up 20 yards. J.J. would finish the game with 93 yards on the ground. Later in the drive, Cougars in the blue zone on a third and goal, and freshman Jake Heaps drops back and throws his first ever touchdown to fellow freshman Cody Hoffman. Well, I think that the sentiment at halftime was that we were going to take over the football game and, and uh, it would go right to the wire, but that we'd have a great chance to be competitive and, and win. After scoring 10 unanswered points, the Cougars had the momentum on their side heading into the half, but the Seminoles quickly took it back in the third quarter. BYU struggled to stop Christian Ponder and his teammates in the second half. The Seminoles scored on the opening drive of the third quarter when Ponder threw a two-yard touchdown pass to Ty Jones to put the Seminoles up by 10. Florida State went on to score two more touchdowns, but there weren't many highlights from either side of the ball for the Cougars. BYU only had 39 yards of offense in the second half and only 191 yards in the game overall, which is the lowest offensive output ever in the Bronco men in Hall era. Despite a strong second quarter, Jake Heaps struggled after the break, only completing two of his 10 passing attempts. The offensive line didn't help Heap's production very much as they allowed the Seminoles to get to the quarterback eight times in the game, which is eight more sacks than the Cougars have allowed all season. The lack of production on both sides of the ball resulted in a 34-10 defeat for the Cougars. Uh, the initial summation would be that we played um, competitively um, for about a half. I thought we were gaining momentum right before the half. I don't think we were able to sustain it, um, not only in our execution, but in our playmaking ability, especially at the critical times in the second half. And so uh, I think just in general, maybe a, a, a small step forward from a week ago um, with a lot of work to do. Brendan Hartigan in studio with us. We knew Florida State was going to be big and fast, but man, BYU had a bunch of chances. They did. In the first half, it really looked like we were going to take it. Like Jake Heap started to play and he completed a lot of big passes. They had a big scoring drive. Drive DiLuigi had a big, had a few big runs in right. the first half. And they really had that momentum heading into the break. But right after the break, on their very first drive, Florida State just drove down the field, ponder through a touchdown pass, and it seemed our momentum just disappeared. Things didn't go great at Air Force. Now they didn't go great at Florida State. So here comes Nevada, a team that put 50 on Cal and 50 on Colorado State, and BYU's getting ready for them. Kickoff's three days away. Where's the team at? Well, you know, I think a lot of people, when they look at Nevada, they don't think they're a very good team. Like, before the season started, you look at the schedule, and you're like, oh, they're in the whack. Like, that should be an easy win. But right. I was watching them Friday night take on Cal, and they're a very good team. They have an offense that seems almost unstoppable. Like you mentioned, they put up tons of points against those two opponents. And I think BYU really has a lot to do on the defensive side to try to stop them. If we can play like we did in the first half against Florida State, I think we have a great chance. But they really need to have a great practice to, to make that happen. All right, Brendan Hargan, thank you.